Welcome back everyone, I'm K Plays Games, this is EVE Online, I am in my pod so it's time for another ship fitting video and we're going to do a tech 1 cruiser for level 2 missions. We've only got 3 more of them to go so let's get on and do one of them now. These are the 3 we still have to do in alphabetical order, it is the Kaldari Caracal and the Minmitar Rupture and the Minmitar Stabber. So we're going to have a look at the random number generator as usual. We're going to say minimum 1, maximum 3 and give us a number. Number 3, okay that means we're doing a stabber I do believe. Yes we are. Right let's open the fitting window, find a stabber and get to work. Yeah, stabber, simulate ship. And as always we'll start off by examining the traits of this ship. Only two of them, there's no row bonus and per level of Minmitar Cruiser we get 7.5% bonus to medium projectile turret rate of fire so at maximum skills at level 5 you will be getting 32.5% better rate of fire and a 10% bonus to medium projectile turret fall off so that's more range so it's rate of fire and range this symbol here reckons it can be armor tanked or shield tanked which is probably right stabbers are not really cruisers they're really a destroyer, a very large destroyer that's pretending to be a cruiser, but it does work in missions and it's going to work just fine. So how many slots are we playing with? We have four mid slots and four low slots. So there's no clue whether or not we're going to shield tank or armor tank it. Interesting. We have six high slots, but only four turret slots. And we know that we get traits to turrets so we're going to need at least four turrets and then the other two slots can be missiles because there's two missile launcher slots here as well and the usual three rig slots so i think we're going to go fast and auto cannons and get right up in things faces so we'll go to hardware modules turrets and launchers i think we'll just start with the turrets and then work our way along not artillery auto cannons medium auto cannons Right, you can try and fit on 425mm autocannons but they do need quite a lot of fitting space and you end up having to use rigs and low slots to make them fit and if you fit 220mm then you can use these rigs and low slots to bump up the damage so it actually ends up doing more damage than the 425s. Bigger is not always better. 4220mm autocannon 2. Again, we're going to try and keep this alpha friendly. Not necessarily low skill, but alpha friendly. Because alphas can use tech 2 medium weapons. Right, that's them done. What shall we do with the missiles? I think we'll have some rapid light missiles because they're the easiest things to fit. Can alphas fit tech 2? Yes, they can. That's good, right? Two of them as well. Weapon upgrades wise, we're going to do two gyro stabilizers. I'm leaning quite heavily towards making the ship an armor tank even though it does have more shield hit points we do only have four mid slots to play with and that's not an awful lot for a shield tank so let's do an armor tank we'll do the usual reactive armor hardener and medium armor repairer just make sure that tech 2 is alpha yes it is and are these alpha yes they are that's good and as usual we'll put a large compact, no we won't, we're not going to put a large compact, it cannot fit a large compact, how about a medium cap battery, yeah, tech 2 medium cap battery, yikes, as I said it's not really a cruiser, it doesn't have an awful lot of power grid, so after burners, if we do a tech 2, no that's that's alpha, let's not do an afterburner. How about a microwatt drive? Can we fit a compact microwatt drive? Yes, we can. Right, this is going to give us problems. We're running out of power and options. So, maybe we will try a shield tank. Right, let's re examine our situation. Let's go for an enduring afterburner because that is alpha. Tech 2 afterburners are omega. Even though it's only an afterburner, the ship is so fast it's still doing 880 meters a second. Which is pretty damn good. Oh, fitting stabbers is su such a pain. They have basically no power grid at all. Right, let's try an enduring afterburner here. 
then we'll put back on the armor repairer an enduring armor repairer and the reactive armor hardener now we know we can't get our favorite module so let's try a medium compact and we're going to need a little bit more cap so i'm thinking cap recharger and then for damage application because auto cannons are such short range we're going to want a web to slow the targets down we'll put an enduring Okay, that's pretty good. It's all stable so far. Hey, right, rigs wise. We should probably put an armor rig of some description on. Maybe just to bump up the explosive and kinetic. Just like that. And we've got quite a lot of fitting space left. So I think we can get rid of the two rapid light missiles because even though they apply really well and they have pretty good dps their 35 second reload time gets annoying quite quickly so we'll try some heavy assaults instead cool they fit right let's get some ammo in these guns phased plasma for that and scourge rage for these 411 dps not great not terrible and I think we'll try and bump up the DPS with a projectile weapon rig and medium. That's rate of fire. That's more damage per shot. It'll go more damage per shot, I think. We are only going 800 meters a second, so maybe... Maybe I actually want speed rigs on this instead. Right, let's have a look at astronautic rigs under medium maybe if we do yeah that looks pretty good two medium auxiliary thrusters to get it over a thousand meters a second with just an afterburner and then we can do the damage rig or do we want to get the explosive resistance up i mean this thing's so fast i think it will probably be able to speed tank most things now let's have a look what we can do with the cap. Can we swap out the medium compact battery for a tech two? Is tech two alpha? Yes, it is. That works. Not quite stable, which is a little bit annoying. Eight minutes. Eight, um, if it was like 15 minutes, then I'd be a lot happier, but eight isn't quite good enough. So we'll put the cheap thing back on. And is there a way cram a launch on I mean needing 200 power that is an awful lot to need I'm not even sure a tech 2 ancillary current router will get us there nah nowhere close well we could do that the tech 2 I mean that's pushed the, the price of this ship way over 40 million how about two tech 1s nope doesn't quite fit I told you this thing's basically it's basically a large destroyer it's really quite difficult to fit okay back to the compact cap battery and the compact cap recharger then we'll hold shift and replace the auxiliary thruster and i think we'll try the projectile collision accelerator again it is only adding 18 dps Will a missile rig add more? Probably not. Mm, of course not, it's only adding another 10. Do we need another 18 DPS or do we need something else? Could be an auxiliary nano pump just to give the, the armor rep a little bit more help. Goes from 35 to 40 hit points a second. That could be good. Or we could just fill the explosive hole. Even though we're in Galente Federation at the minute, maybe a Kinetic would be better. Yeah, let's do a Kinetic. And we'll also put some drones in, because I just noticed the drone bay is lying here empty. It can hold five drones, so five Tech 2 light drones, please. Ah, that's the DPS up a bit better. 510 DPS, that's quite respectable. Optimal range, 1350 meters, fall off range, 20 kilometers, and 
the heavy assault's go out to 17, so that's probably about right. Goes 953, uh, that's because we've got that on. All right, maybe we're not going to do an armor rig because it slows us down. All right, what are we going to think of for the rigs? Because I really want to be over a thousand meters a second in this ship. We do have some power grid and CPU to play with, so I think we'll maybe upgrade the cap battery to a tank two, just to get the cap up a little bit more. Because I do have maximum skills, you may not, so we'll just bump the cap up as much as we can. Why not? And we might possibly get away with a Tech 2 armor repairer now. Let's check that it's alpha. Yes, it is. Right, let's put the defense up from 35 to 40. So that's what that rig was going to do for us anyway. Okay, we have one rig slot, so I think we'll probably... Yeah, we'll probably do a, a damage rig, actually. Again, it is only adding another... 18 DPS. Is that worth it? Is there anything else we can do? I think that's a tracking rig. That's optimal range, Sonny. That one there is the tracking. I mean, the tracking on medium turrets is auto cannons is pretty good anyway. You could, of course, just put a third auxiliary thruster on this, or a, a low friction nozzle joint, or a polycarbon, which actually yeah, okay, let's do a polycarb. 10, 20. Okay, what if we do two of them and then a low friction nozzle joint? Oops. Yeah, I quite like that. I think that's what we'll do. We'll do two auxiliary thrusters for pure speed and then a low friction nozzle joint, which reduces our align time, which means we can leave the afterburner on and not have to do huge turns. We'll be able to turn faster and tighter. So I think that's the fit we're going to go with. 510 DPS is pretty good. Just over a thousand meters a second is pretty damn good. Camp stable is almost nice, it's just a luxury. I mean, without this it's only 524, which isn't great. As I said, if it was 15 minutes, I probably wouldn't bother with this. I'd probably put a second web on or something. Right, this is what we're going to do. It is 31 million, it's not all that expensive. Slightly more expensive than some other fits we've done, but it's going to be good fun. So let's save it and then I'll go and buy this and we're on some level 2 missions. Right, here is our brand new stabber. Missiles up the front, guns at the back. Lots of huge big engines at the very back. I like stabber, they look really cool. They're a really cool ship actually, I do like them a lot. Colour scheme leaves much to be desired. Dirty and rusty, but that's how the Min Matar are. So let's get ourselves a mission, shall we? And we've been offered a mission called Stop the Thief. It's probably one system over. Yeah, next system. Go in, kill mercenaries, get the reports. Easy peasy. 127,000 risk, 268 loyalty points, another 132,000. If we do it in 2 hours and 8 minutes, it's not going to take 2 hours and 8 minutes. Let's get going. Let's change the orbit range to 8,000. So we orbit things within webifying range. And keep it range, we'll do it 15 so it's in range of both the missiles and the autocannons. We'll come down here, configure the ship health alert settings, we'll put shield and armor both at 50%. So we're using three different weapon systems. Most of our damage comes from our 220mm autocannons, we have some supplementary damage from heavy assault missiles and some more supplementary damage from drones. It's going to be a lot of micromanagement, especially with the webifier. It's mouse over the DPS, yeah, 319 from the turrets, 96.9 from the missiles and 99 from the drones. It says they're elite, but I don't believe they actually are elite, no. They're just little things. Right, let's just approach the thief. Turn on the afterburner and all the tank. We just hold control and draw a big box around everything. Oh dear, we can only target five things on this ship apparently. That's not good. We'll just orbit this guy. And he'll go down in no time at all. 
Yep, he did. And spit the drones out. You make as well go and do something. Now we'll just go and kill this guy. Because we have a bonus to fall off range, that's why our fall off is all the way up to 20 with this ship. This guy's a little bit far away, so let's approach him. Okay, these guys seem to be wanting to stay at fairly long range. Oh, that's one down. Web that one, put the missiles on that one. Yeah, that one down just fine. And one more to go, we'll just approach him. Web them. Will we get a luck before the drones finish it? Almost. And the reports have teleported themselves into our cargo. That was nice of them. Active. Well, that went well. That was really like a level one mission. That was not difficult at all. All right. I have made changes to the fit. I wasn't quite happy with how it was operating. So let me take you through the changes and simulate it. I didn't like that we only had five maximum targets, so I took both the heavy assault missile launchers off because I also didn't like the amount of micromanaging. I was having to micromanage the drones and the guns and the web and the missiles, and it was all just too much micro. So the missiles are now gone, which means we've lost the 96.9 DPS they were providing. But by fitting two automated targeting systems, I mean, you never actually turn these things on t to target things, because I'd rather target things I want to target. Whenever you fit them, they do give you a plus three bonus to the ship's maximum targets. So we've gone from five to 11, which is great, which means we can target lots of things. Because as we know, this ship does kill things pretty damn fast. And I don't want to have to be micromanaging in terms of targeting things all the time as well. Rigs wise, I put two Tech 1 ancillary current routers and that did actually let us fit a large compact cat battery because these auto targeting systems ba basically don't use any power, one megawatt each. So that gave us the power we needed to fit that. And because we had so much cap left I was able to squeeze on a 50 mega newton quad lift restrained micro watt drive. So instead of going 1003 meters a second we're now going almost two and a half thousand which is fantastic for getting these guns into range. And to bump up the cap, I put a Tech 2 medium capacitor control circuit. The, the total cost for the ship is still about 40 mil. This is the ship we wear, it's about 30, so we've gone up by about 9 million and lost about 100 DPS, but I reckon this is going to work much better. Let's see if it does and get a new mission. The drone infestation. Destroy the drone silo and report back to the agent. It's one jump over, we'll accept it. It's 128,000 disc, 245 loyalty points, and another 108,000 if we do it in less than 1 hour and 56 minutes. Let's see if we perform any better this time. Much less micromanaging to be done now. And it's a hell of a lot faster than it used to be. Two and a half times faster. Make use of all these big engines. And this thing is only barely cap stable, even with my skills. It's stable at 27. Which ain't great, but it's it's fine. It'll last more than long enough to to complete level two and probably level three missions. Speaking of which, we'll turn the tank on. Hey, right, acceleration gate, that's good. Hopefully it means we're going to get dropped right into the middle of a big ball of enemies. That suits us fine, we're auto cannon fitted. Warp drive active.
If we wanted to do even less micromanaging and take off the web and replace it with a tracking computer, well look, placeholder asteroids. Look how crap this looks. All the same model, in the same orientation, and the same size. Because the developers are super lazy. Hey, let's get over here. Target everything that's here. Apart from that Stargate. Seems to only be four little drones over here. Get there in no time. And I think we're in range. We'll just put one gun on each. Just web it. They're dead. Right, on to the next target, which is over here apparently. Get rid of these missile batteries. Look how crap this site looks with that one rock model copied and pasted all over the place. It's embarrassing. Let's turn off the microwatt drive. We're close enough to everything now. We don't need to be this close. This fast, I mean. Now I'm thinking I probably will remove the web because it only works on one target at a time and we're splitting fire between lots of targets. Something else to change, we'll just get a tracking computer. Just web this guy. Yes, I did forget that I had drones. Oops. Go. Right, drones, go and kill that. Ah, that's what we need to kill for the mission, so let's just blow it up with the guns. Boom, dead. Something else blew up in the background there. Right, cool. Everything's dead. That was easy, wasn't it? Okay, let's try and get one more mission under a belt before the end of this video. And it's the damsel in distress. We all know this one. You warp in, you blow up a structure, you grab the damsel, you get out. Lots of things spawn in at various stages of the structure's health. 149,000 isk, 318 loyalty points with another 141,000 isk. If we complete it in 2 hours and 32 minutes. So let's go! And between missions... The more observant of you will notice down here I did remove the web and I replaced it with an enduring tracking computer with a tracking speed script. So we can split our fire between everything and all the weapons will get the bonus. It's far too much micromanaging was going on in the first two missions. It's not cap stable but 31 minutes 50 it's effectively cap stable. Nothing we're going to be doing in this ship is going to last 31 minutes. And we're not going to have the micro warp drive on all the time anyway. Warp drive right, active. let's get into the mission. Turn on the tracking computer, the hardener and the rep. And get in there. Ooh, I've got some skins for this. Right, let's put on the yellow skin. Even though we play zoomed out like this, so it doesn't really matter. Right, what we know is if we attack Krull, that's going to bring in reinforcements, so let's not attack Krull first. 
They can kill his henchmen though. They're not a problem. Are we tracking them fine? Yes, we are. <laughs> They're all yellow box, which means they're on approach. I'm not going to put the drones out because the drones do stupid things like hit the triggers in this mission. They do it all the time. Are they within range? Probably. We'll probably hit them. Yep, there we go. Boom, dead. Again, these are mercenaries, so everything in this mission will drop at least some kind of loot. Let's kill Krull. He should die very quickly. Here's all his reinforcements. We don't care how many because we can probably target everything. I'll put one weapon on each. See how we do. Tracking looks fine. Now we can put the drones out. We don't have to worry about the trigger anymore. And off they go. Low shield warning. Don't care. We're armor tanked. There's another one gone. Whoops, accidentally put two guns on the same thing. Oh well, who cares? Even though they're orbiting us pretty close, we're still tracking them fine. Tracking is 63.25. Alright, I believe. Now, is it this slave? No, it's not the slave pens. If we zoom in. This little thing here hiding in this cloud is a pleasure hub. That's where the damsel is being... Well, she says she's been held prisoner. But I have to rescue her about 19 times a week, so I think she likes it. Pop. And she should be in one of these containers. In the level 4 version of this mission, she does teleport herself into your cargo. Obviously the level 2 does not do that. This is the first time you've actually turned on the micro walk drive in this entire mission. Nope, that's not her. That's the janitor. There she is. Come here, you. And um, we overshot it. God damn micro walk drive. There we go. Warp drive active. Alright, mission complete. So that was how I would fit, eventually, a stabber for level 2 missions. We did change the fit quite a lot. But then, that's how it goes when you're playing EVE Online. You make a fit, you see what works, you change it up and remove things that don't. We started off with two missile launchers up here and an afterburner here and a web here and completely different rigs and I've pretty much changed the fit entirely. And that's how it goes. So this is the fit I would use. Much, much less micromanagement. No web and no missiles to micromanage anymore. Just really high tracking. Really high speed with the micro warp drive. A shade under 2,500 meters a second. It closes ranges fast. If you start missing with your auto cannons, just use keep it range or orbit buttons or turn off the micro warp drive. That should work fine. Cap half an hour, more than long enough. So that's how I would fit a stabber. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you again for the next one. Until then, do take very good care of yourself. See you later.